Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Dick, the lovely campy queen and your gaming host for today. My name is Jasmine Dick and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Gaming Queen Classic. Now today is a very, very interesting day. Because I'm super, 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 duper, duper, dilly, 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 do, 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 excited. Because of, because it's basically a um, multiverse story, like they have basically a different version of themselves. So what we know so far that in the future uh, Linda um, J -J 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 Madison and the other bloke went upstairs to look for um, Mad I, I can't even say her name the the bitch of the house and she can't find her anywhere but she has cameras everywhere and there's someone watching them and Linda mentioned about her past with Bonnie and it shows the actual Bonnie from the past oh my god the this game, well, movie, has got it, the story, the characters. It's very well developed and I am absolutely enjoying it whatsoever. The characters are likeable, the story are likeable. Everything in this game is, well, movie is just good and I love it how they technically go back to the house so basically the four friends went back four friends went back to the mill and shoot some scenes there was a bit of drama here and there and basically Chris got taken by the whirlpool and the well monster killed J uh, Jamie I think yes and honestly I I really thought that this would be you know a terrifying game and it is terrifying it can I just say the jump scares are hardly in it but I, and I'm glad because why you need jump scares, all we need is a sense of dread, a sense of despair, you know, that sort of thing does scare me and I like it. You know, it's, you know, I like the first half, I'm also liking the second half and it, it does have a good unique characters, I mean, And the story and plot is great. So, and also everything else is great. The facial features are wonderful. The plot is engaging. To It's basically like you're watching an anthology film, like uh, the Christmas Horror Story, which that one was done Holy, this one was done right. It's like you're watching an anthology film, but with just two of the stories. So this is actually kind of interesting. So I wonder if it could be connected to the murder mill. And what's the connection? Hmm. I do want to know, and I do want to find out. Well. Without further ado, we're going to get dig deep into Frank Stone, and I may see you after the credits. ka -ching!
Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door's a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. Movie review. Movie review, Murder Mill. Uh, reviewed at the 22nd Fiendish Desires Fan Festival Bio Correspondent Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill that it's unskillful competition. The cinematic inquirements of your sister's kids put an on play put an on a play for for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The films sadly begin to dissolve into vehicles for films makers to not scare us, the audience, but instead show us how many of us better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in degree and have more or less become par. For the course on the festival circuits, what was unusual, however, was oddly unsettling feeling that blanket the 10 pm audience from the first frame. And I honestly can't explain why. The overall of the dread that ex that evening was paperful and unlike anything I had experienced before or I am keen to experience it. The screening was mercifully cut short through as to that's a gloggers began to assault nearby audience. Oh! Oh, so Linda film did actually went in cinema and everyone was going crazy. Oh. Members before turning on one another, turning what was a below average movie going, experience turning to an absolute Pandora room. This reviewer could not get out of the theatre fast enough. Oh! 
Oh. So they've been screaming and killing. Oh. Oh, God, that's awful. Fucking hell, well, they must have went crazy, well. Well, I would say people are... Film don't kill people. People kill people, basically. Um, that reminds me of a film. What film that did that thing with... Watch a film... You... Start killing them? Or what was it? Oh, it was one of the masters of horrors. Oh, what was it? What was it? The circuit? Oh, and it was by John Carpenter as well. What was that film? Oh. Oh, honestly, I know the film by heart. What was it? So I remember watching it. The circuit or something? The one has... When you're watching an old film, it does have a circle around it. Oh, what was it? Oh, you know what? I have to buy the Massive of Horrors again and watch that. Because I'm trying to remember what it is. Oh, fuck, I can't even remember the name. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Long is Island Adoption House Invoice Augustine Later General Manager Lot 106 Description 8 AM Film Quality 1 Price Okay, now that's a lot of money. Definitely total tax. 2024, fucking hell. Imagine, Jesus! Bloody hell. Ah, oh, nothing on there. Hmm. Pretty shit, isn't it? So, hang on, hang on. This Augustine want this film, but they're charging a lot. Jesus Christ, what is going on? And who is she really? Because she was the old lady who gave them the film, so who is she? Like, what's a connection? There, there's something not right, and definitely not right at all. Hmm, well... All we've got to do is find out the truth. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie.
Something's missing. You're coming with me, buddy. of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Okay, time to unlock that gate. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads, and heads. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Well, that's cheery. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly, for sure. Hey, Linda. Check this out. Okay, okay, oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place, 
and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, okay, that was an explosion. That was an explosion. I, I can't see. I can't see. Uh, oh my. Oh. The police have now opened fire. It, it now sounds like the police line has been broken. Is that dried blood? These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. <laughs> there is no tomb in the Prophecy of Pain. Oh, I... Uh... Yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I... of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work... Okay, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. Crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. That's official. You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. <sighs> I call it or no deal. All right. What's it gonna be? Tails. Crap. I believe we had a deal. There's not really much to tell. I wanted a bet from a real down on his luck guy. And now he's dead. So he's not exactly missing it. Who was he? A guy called Robbie G. That's how I knew him. Robert Green? Sounds right. He was basically one foot in the grave when I met him. Poor Robert. What happened to him? From what I gather, it sounded like he had some serious daddy issues. Never shut up about how much his dad fucked up his life. Anyways, there you go. Okay, I just want to get everything close. So we now know that Robert Green, who was in the past, is technically dead from the future. So why did he give him the film? Like, was it in a hurry? Was there a connection going on? Hmm. I do wonder myself. Uh, so far, this is more like 
a psychological horror beats slasher. And I do like the premise. You know, I do like the idea of an anthology, a multiverse, supernatural film. And I do like it. Eee, I'm just buzzing. Oh my god, this game has got it all. And I can't wait for anything. It's, it's, I don't know what it is. I just love this kind of idea for a horror game. Oh, there's a book to read as well. Book! Book! Fold of Fear. Chapter 28, Manifestation. Getting back to the settlement would have been easy a few hours ago, but the starlight was now soft, coherent, strangled by the storm. Clouds Bits, I can't even see that Brazil or something could neither see nor hear wherever she had been followed. Not with the air, so full driven rain as well as a crackling of crows cutting across each other. Qu quickly enough, to sound like mocking laughter. Their catch feelings never seem to fade, no matter how much distance she be she put in between herself. Put in uh, between herself and the stage. At least she couldn't hear the screeching, the children, and the screaming. Oh, yet still she pushed on through into revolving darkness. There was no way she could stop. Not now. Not even when she had no clue where that thing might be. The thing that Stamper had called conjoined created, not when the memory of it rising from the sludge and ripping Ron apart was still burning bright in her mind. Oh! Oh, this is... Oh! I mean, it's a book, but... Very intriguing. Something smashed against her shoulder, sending her spinning, tumbling backwards into stones, sliding down into the shadows, stole water with a nosy splash. She landed with a painful crack. The sharp metallic taste of blood filled her mouth and she realized an awful scream as her nerves began to burn. She tried to force herself back up for her bad ankle to book Buckley. She dropped down with a scream of pain. Ah! Is that how scream of pain works? B 
beats, I can't even say that word, reach for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase. But her gasping fingers met only what felt like a sinew and spines and slugs. For all the tears beginning to fill her eyes, she could <coughs> just about to see the dunnies from looming over her. Still dripping with mud, it was born from what the goal of her friends. The cloud close above and the rain beginning to drum once more. A knotted apparange in the monster's low from form caught the distance. Dying half light as its body moved to strike. Oh! Ah, uh, that's it. Well, that was intriguing to read. Right, what else to do? This is... No. There's no way. It can't be. Hey, Linda. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans. Contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... We should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie? Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out? Oh. Cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Okay, sure. Thanks. <sighs> Oops. I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Nah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. 
I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. And how's that any of your business, Bonnie Rivera? <laughs> Look, if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer, it's freshly squeezed gossip. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so. Broke down. Kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know? I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was definite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. You deserve better than that. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. Second my mom comes home, it's lickety splits for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure I... I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera, anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Oh. Probably the only one, then. Yeah. Go. 
Oh no. Jaime. 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 Manito. No, 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 no. He's not. He's not. And he's not. How could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? I don't, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. My baby brother. Bonnie, I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. We don't know what happened. Uh, what about the camera? Maybe, maybe they were filming when, uh... Maybe, yeah, maybe. We should find Chris and Robert. Uh, no, I don't want to leave Jaime. Whoever did this might still be here. We can't stay, okay? We gotta go. I can get up there. That's my way out.
Okay. It's gone. Oh, God. I need to find Bonnie. Honestly, th this game is totally different from what I expected. Um, it still is a supernatural mystery thriller. And the story is actually really intriguing. And the characters are really likable in this uh, to be honestly, I roughly totally enjoying the storyline of it and how the characters completely develop. And I love it. It's an it's an old school. Um, it it kind of how to explain. It kind of reminds me of. Uh, Happy Death Day, which the first one was really good, but the second one was a bit shit. No, I, it, it reminds me of Happy Death Day 2, which is time travel and everything else. This, I love it, a multiverse horror movie with time travel so i kind of like it the mystery the law and the story is very unique and it's very different from until dawn the quarry because you don't have the you know the actual characters the watch award the characters who talks to you and the different is you, you don't have the um what you called the one you can see for the future whether you're gonna die or what rambles to that death um which is a good idea you know, I'm glad they tried to change everything to make it look like you're actually watching a horror movie. And 
I I am enjoying it so far. The mystery, the law. Yes, it was a little bit slow in the middle selection, but the store I mean the gameplay, but the story is actually what it is. I'm actually enjoying it so far. And I I personally would love if if they continue on doing this storyline. Because I like it. The gameplay-wise, not really much, but the story is actually fun. And the... the characters as well. Also, I love the little gameplay we have with the camera. Reminds me of Camera of Obscura. That's what it reminds me of. Um, camera Obscura. That's the name of a weapon. That's the name of a camera. No, it reminds me of Project Zero with the camera being used to fight ghosts. I actually like it. You know, it's a good idea they actually add that as a game mechanic. So there's something different here. Something like we don't see in you know, supernatural elements. I like the idea of it. Totally cool, totally radiant. And it's so cool. I was like, oh, shit, shit. I was fucking shitting myself saying, I'm going to fucking die. But um, the camera is going very weird and very wonky. It was like, Whoa. But honestly, this game terrifies me to bits. And honestly, I wonder what's going to happen to our main characters. I mean, to be honest, Linda in the future, to be honest, I don't want her to die. <laughs> because I, I, I personally, I don't know if she is going to die. But I was like, shoot, shoot. But honestly, this game is wonderful. It has an idea of a storyline. Um, and also, Sam Green is in the future as well. So what is sort of connection to this main plot? And how is it all going to piece together? Well, we all don't know this one. <laughs> Honestly, I love a supernatural twist. And this is what I'm, I'm, I was like, oh, shit, shit, shit. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Well, I didn't die. I'm still alive. But honestly, no, it's something very different that we don't see in most horror games. I'm like, super excited what they're going to bring out next. Well, and I'm hoping for more mystery and I hope it connects on what is happening to the characters. Honestly, I love a good old slasher and this one is top on my list. Anyway, I'm going to have to go. So give a like and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you on the next channel. So long, farewell, we'll see you again. Goodbye, goodbye. And I'll see you again. So don't forget to like and subscribe. ka -ching! I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything 
everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement of being incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No I'm not giving up No I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up Fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.